And then, you see, the Dubliners celebrated 40 years. I've left them now since about 19, 1994. Yeah, I wanted to do They never answer. left them, Ronnie. Well, um, <laughs> well, they asked me to go back in, in, uh, in two years ago when they were celebrating 40 years. And uh, I went back and enjoyed it. And if somebody gets a headache or not too well, I'll join in and go and do a gig here and there and yonder, you know. Uh, so we're, we're still friends. And it was no rare or anything like that. Ronnie, you spoke um, a little earlier there um, about Paddy Kavanagh. You said you knew him. Do you have a favourite uh, poet or a type of poem? Well, there's a, there's a, the, Paddy was a, a man who knew himself very well. And, uh, <laughs> you know, but you're not Tom given to a lot of us. You know, he had great self-knowledge. But, um, and he was very honest. But Brendan Kennelly wrote, a, 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 well, it's, a, it's quite a long poem, but it's in two parts. And the first part is very short, where he says, um, I want no easy grave, he said to me, where those who hated me can come and stare, slip down upon a servile knee, muttering their phony public prayer. In the wilds of Norfolk I'd like to lie, no commemorative stone, no sheltering trees, far from the hypocrite's tongue and eye, safe from the praise of my enemies. And that was the, the first part of it. That, that, uh, Brendan summed up, Brendan Kennedy summed up Paddy very well, I thought. In, in that sort of thing, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. most of us, my generation certainly, would only remember or only know of him through school and, and poetry. Exactly, and I yeah, have yeah. to tell you, myself also, would uh, would not have particularly enjoyed it. Uh, uh, and and the more you found out about the man, the more you thought this guy was a cranky, curmudgeonly old bugger. Why is everybody? Why has he reached such iconic status? Well, we can't because he was a fantastic poet. I mean, we can't all be sort of. Nice people oh, working, I understand. working was, in offices was he as contrary and obeying as, the and, boss. And as, huh? Was he as contrary and as cantankerous as he's made out to be? Yeah, but you see, did, did, he, did he called him eccentric, you know. But <laughs> I don't know, I'm never quite sure what eccentric is, because, I mean, it's obviously some guy who just... Eccentric is, like, a uh, guy who, who doesn't oddball. do what... He doesn't, an oddball. Yeah, but, I mean, it's funny, we remember the oddballs. We don't remember the people who call them oddballs. <laughs> like, you know, all the people who go down and say, of course, he's very odd, not very respectable, you know, and all that. You know, and all the respectable ones, nobody knows what happened to them. Mm. But everybody knows about Paddy Cavanagh and Brendan Bean and all these guys, because they were, they were characters and they were their own people. And you, when you, you saw them, you knew what you were going to get. You weren't going to get sort of, good evening, how do you do? You know? <laughs> I mean, Paddy one time f uh, defined vulgarity very well for me. I was in pub of all places, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, Paddy was taken um, by Carmen with soda, you know, before all the Rennies and all came in, and he was taking whiskey after it. And this sort of would-be literary gentleman said to him, you know, Paddy, if you continue to take bicarbonate of soda and whiskey, you'll ruin your tummy. Paddy says, I don't mind Paul the kind of natural, he said. I don't mind the man Robin to feed his family, but I hate vulgarity, he said. <laughs> the word is belly or stomach. And the, the, the vulgarism for Paddy was the, the tweeness, the, the sort of tummy. The, the false the, He would have felt yeah. that to be vulgar. But the difference between poetry and prose, you, you, you're telling us that, that uh, Bean defines the difference between pro poetry and prose very well. Well... Brendan was at a, a symposium, I believe, in Cambridge University, and he was listening all day to dry academics and scholars discussing and going into the finer points of, of the English language. And we're getting a bit of a pain in his whatever. And <laughs> Fundament. <laughs> when he's fundamental. And uh, when he was asked to give a little talk on the difference between prose and uh, poetry, and he obliged. And he gave this talk, it was very succinct. And he said, uh, a young cyclist from down near Ring's End, who worked for Ferdy or Pollux, <laughs> rode his bike along Sandy Mount Strand, and a tide came up to his ankles. <laughs> that, that, he explained, is prose. <laughs> he said, if the tide had been in, it would have been poetry. <laughs> <laughs> Love it.